Good morning, mighty men. In 2014, Dick Simmons came to our small city, Topeka, Kansas, to motivate men in early morning prayer. His ministry is called Men for Nations. Afterwards, he needed a ride to the International House of Prayer in Kansas City, so I volunteered. And on the way, he laid out for me in some detail his vision for getting a million men up early to pray. Within 24 hours, he texted me the question, will you awaken the dawn with me? Well, my flesh groaned when I heard it because I knew what he was asking. He was challenging me to pray with him at 5 a.m. every day. And I'd never been very successful at that, uh, getting out of bed early and, and doing that for any length of time. But I responded, yes, I would awaken the dawn with him. And after many months of praying with Dick and calling me from Washington, D.C., we set up a men's prayer boot camp in June of 2015. Dick arrived with Wayne, his travel companion, and the day before the boot camp, I took off work to help Dick update about a dozen slides in his presentation. So we started in mid-morning and we worked through the day. I admit I was a little frustrated that it was taking so long. Dick kept delivering the boot camp to me. I tried numerous times to get him back on track with the slides, but with only occasional success. And when I finally packed up my laptop at 10 p.m., I thought, my responsibility has been fulfilled. He's now ready to project his slides. The next morning, as the men were gathering in the church sanctuary for the boot camp, Dick became ill. Well, we rushed to pray for him, but the decision was made to call 911, and when they wheeled him out, there stood Wayne and I wondering what to do next. Forty men were looking at us, wondering too. Then it hit me. I had been trained on how to deliver the boot camp for 12 hours the previous day. With Wayne offering key insights and with me regurgitating all that was still fresh in my memory, we put on an all-day men's prayer boot camp. Still, the best was yet to come, and I'll share more about that next time. By the way, Dick ended up with a diagnosis of a mild stroke from which he fully recovered. Our Bible reading today is the book of Amos, and I'm going to read from chapter 3, verse 6. Is a trumpet blown in a city and the people are not afraid? Does disaster come to a city unless the Lord has done it? For the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secret to his servants, the prophets. Chapter 5, 14. I sent among you a pestilence after the manner of Egypt. I killed your young men with the sword. I carried away your horses and I made the stench of your camp go up into your nostrils. Yet you did not return to me, declares the Lord. Verse 15, hate evil and love good, establish justice in the gate. It may be that the Lord, the God of hosts, will be gracious to the remnant of Joseph. O oh God, in your mercy, would you revive your church? Don't let the trials that have come upon us and this nation be for naught. Let your trumpet warning blast from every pulpit and platform in America. Send a spirit of repentance that we would seek good and not evil, that we would live. Lord, show us how to establish justice in the gate, that you would be gracious to us and send a great awakening upon this nation in Jesus' name. Lord, that we would return to you. Lord, that the stench in our nostrils would cause us to come to you and repent. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. If you like this video, subscribe, follow, and share it. Shalom.